This is a video just to let everyone know how to get Prot onto their computer. What we're going to do, call up Prot.org. It redirects you to this site here. And I'm on a Windows machine, so I'm going to click on Windows. Almost everybody nowadays uses a 64-bit machine. Uh, it's quite unusual to use a 32-bit, so I'm going to click on the link right next to the 64-bit edition. It's going to show up as a download here. So wherever downloads show up on your computer, um, you have to go there. So in this case, on Google Chrome, it has a quick little link here. I'm going to click on this, and it shows up as prop.exe. So this program I can open right from the downloads folder, but that's not really how I'd like to do it because this is a zipped folder. So I'm just going to take this file and drag it right to my desktop. And there it is. Okay, so I'm going to click on this. And the first time I'm going to make sure that it knows to run it. And uh, some, some of you might have to do that step. Um, this is a safe program to use. You don't have to worry about um, viruses or malware, things like that. Um, so now that I'm in Prot, uh, I have this object window that my cursor is on, as well as this picture window, which we won't really be using in class, so I'm going to minimize that. To open up a file, I'm going to go to this open window here, read from file, and I can call from a lot of different things. Uh, in this case, I'll call from our class files in speech acoustics and audio, and I can call up any of these sounds. So for example, we looked at this sound called complex tone in class the other day. So if I call that up, here's what I'm looking at. And while I'm in this editor here, um, I can, from any point in the sound, if I click here, if I press the tab key on my keyboard, it'll play. Or I can select a specific stretch of sound, press tab. And I can also, if I select a specific stretch of sound, highlight to click and drag it, and then press this SEL button, and that'll zoom in to that stretch right there. Okay, and then I can continue zooming in. If I only want to look at, say, these two chunks right here, I can do that um, and just press tab again. It's going to sound so short that you can barely hear it. Um, so that's really how to navigate the sounds. Um, so the next time as you're calling up new sounds in the window, be sure that you know that they'll show up in this objects window. We want to hit view and edit to view to actually work with it. And then all these other menu items will likely not come into a large role in this class, but they're good just for exploring what you can do with the program.